Hi everyone, I'm here with my weekly favorites. This is going up just a little bit late. Um, I just wanted to share some products that I've been loving this week as I do with every weekly favorites. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a monthly favorites yet, but if I do, it'll probably be up just a little bit late. So this is gonna be, like I said, weekly favorites. So I'm gonna start out with skincare. So well, let's, yeah, we'll start with skincare. Well, the first thing is a hand cream, and this is the Antipodes Joyful Hands and Body Cream. And if you have watched me for, I don't know, at least a year, you know that I used to um, have the Antipodes Facial lotion and I loved it. I finished it up a few months ago and it has to be one of my has to be one of my like top three face moisturizers of life. It's amazing. It's organic. It has a bunch of really good ingredients in it for you. So I really love this Antipodes brand. Uh, but this is the hand and body cream and this one has avocado oil in it, wild black currant berry and hibiscus flower. It is extremely moisturizing but does not leave your hands greasy at all. I also, the packaging of course is beautiful. It matches my background and I'm not going to put any on because then when I do swatches it just gets all crazy. So I absolutely love it. Again it's in like kind of that I don't know, metal type packaging, which is the same with the moisturizer that, uh, the face moisturizer I used to use. But I absolutely love that. It is vegetarian approved um, and organic. Love that. And then I've been using the their facial cleanser, which I have the solid cleanser as well, but I like this one better than the solid cleanser. And this is the Grace Gentle Cream Cleanser. Dermatologically approved for sensitive skin, 100% of ingredients from natural origin, and 71.5% are from organic cultivation. It is certified organic. It's gentle on the skin, but does an amazing job of getting off all of my makeup. I use this with my Clarisonic. It's creamy. I just really, really like these Antipodes products for being natural organic and I have not found one that I don't like so far. So, been loving those this week. Then on to like a little bit more of like a heavy, more heavy duty skincare. Uh, this is the Peter Thomas Roth Laser Free Resurfacer and Regenerate Regenerator. And I got this little sample, I don't know when I got this or where I got it, but I decided to pull it out because I had never used it before. And this is a serum. It says undo the damage with 33.5% Dragon's Blood Complex Repair resurface, regenerate, renew, dull, aging, overexposed skin. And that's the serum. And then you have the uh, moisturizer that you put on over. I've been using this every single night and I am obsessed with it. I absolutely love it. The serum is like a red serum. It goes on and just sinks into the skin amazingly. And then the moisturizer is called a laser free regenerator moisturizing gel cream. It is a gel consistency. It blends into the skin nicely, but it does leave your skin a little bit greasy feeling. Um, not a bad greasy, it just doesn't like soak into your skin and give you like a matte face like some other moisturizers I do or other moisturizers I have do. But I love this. If you've tried this line, let me know your thoughts because I really want to purchase the full size of them when I'm finished because I'm really, really liking them. I've been using them for about two weeks now and I'm noticing a huge difference in the texture of my skin, the tone of my skin, a lot of my redness is going away, and I'm just really, really loving these. So if you've tried this, um, so if you've tried the Peter Thomas Roth, the Resurfacer Regenerator line, let me know your thoughts because I'm really liking that. Um, also for face, I have been using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation this whole week, and I'm loving it. I don't know why I put it away. I love applying it with the Beauty Blender, I think it gives the best, most flawless coverage without it getting too drying or cakey looking. Uh, this is in the shade 845. I'm wearing it today. Quite a tan going on with some San Tropez tanner. And I love it. It lasts all day. I wore this to the lake yesterday because I was going to film yesterday morning. And so I got ready and then ended up running out of time and going to the lake. So I had it on and it lasted in the heat. It was like 90 degrees out. We were out for four or five hours out in the sun and it lasted amazingly. I had no shine, I had no wear, I had no sweat. I mean, it was awesome. So uh, this is the shade, like I said, Warm Beige 845. I love it. I recently, you'll see in an empties video, finished up my MAC Prep and Prime uh, transparent um, finishing powder. So I have the yellow and the pink as well. And this is their Prep and Prime CC. 
and I'm gonna have the yellow which is neutralized. I've just been using that to set my under eye area and my t-zone. I really like it. It doesn't make me overly yellow. It's, it doesn't have much of a pigment to it but it gives me that really flawless um, filled in pores airbrush finish that the transparent did so I've been enjoying this little yellow one this time this week and I do have the pink one and then I have the pressed version of the transparent so I've been loving that still can't get over this Mac cream blush and lady blush I'm wearing it today I love it I love applying it with the beauty blender I think it gives it that really pretty dewy um, light flush to your cheeks absolutely love it this has been in a favorite for like numerous weeks now because I just can't stop using it I love it for my highlight, I've been loving this combination. You'll see this in a haul. It's the Girl Meets Pearl from Benefit, and this is a beautiful highlighter. I think I have some small sample sizes of it and just never pulled it out, but um, I've been using it this week, and I love it. It has a little twist up, and it has little holes on the top, and I've been applying it with my Beauty Blender, and I've been tapping it kind of um, on my cheekbones, but then I take it down just a little bit more and kind of blend it in with that cream blush, and I think it gives the most beautiful luminosity to the cheeks absolutely obsessed with this uh liquid pearl for face girl meets pearl and then for the highlight on top as far as a powder highlight goes the becca shimmering skin perfector in moonstone which is a really light um kind of beigey silver highlight i'm wearing that again today and i just love it it's so beautiful and this combination is like a total win for me the two liners i've been using non-stop in conjunction with each other this week is the stila stay all day and then the kat von d tattoo liner and i've been using the stila all stay all day to do like my whole upper lash line and then i take the kat von d because i like the tip on this one a little bit better i find the stila one since it's felt tip frays a little bit where this one's a brush tip and i get my nice wing and fill it in and so the combination of these two just makes a real easy application it doesn't bother me that I have to use two different liners, but together they work amazingly. Two eyeshadow palettes that I've been using nonstop. The first is the Lavish palette, and I've been recreating a lot of tutorials um, on that I've been seeing on Instagram with this, and I will link the uh, YouTube channel as well as her Instagram account down below. Um, absolutely beautiful tutorials, some of my all-time favorite. And so I've been playing with this a lot, and there's one that... Um, I recreated using antique all over the lid and then uh, smoking out pink sapphire on the lower lash line. Absolutely beautiful. And then the Naked 3 palette. I just put up a tutorial using it. I've been loving the Naked 3. I'm wearing that today. I have just uh, Limit and Nooner in the crease. I put a little bit of Liar on the lid and then I used the Illusion de Ombre in Illusoire which is a really pretty of purpley taupe color which I've had these since April of 2013 and I've never used them so today I used it and it's kind of what I came up with today and then lips I can't get away from this combination Max Angel and Pure Zen it's what I had last week I just really like it and I use this in a tutorial as well I think it's just a perfect nude lip I have a bunch of new videos going up they are all scheduled and ready so be prepared for a bunch of new videos um, and a bunch of tutorials and first impressions as well. So I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!